Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Armour 3 Mod Spotlight and in this edition, episode, we're looking at a map. This is called uh, Fatorsk and it's by a friend of mine Crazy Mike. Um, he's also friends, good friends with the developers, the, the main developers of um, Armour 3 Desolation Redux, uh, Keegan and Big Ben. So he's got the same ethos when it comes to... Uh, his cr um, what he's going to do with his creation as they have, which is share it, let people use it. So, we lost Taviana because Martin Bauer, for whatever reason, I'm not sure what it was, um, decided to make it so so people could no longer play it on uh, uh, mods like uh, Desolation, Exile, etc. So in many ways, Mike's kind of giving us it back, although this isn't Taviana. Um, let me just show you the map itself, because you know that's important. There it is. No, it isn't. There it is. It's much bigger. So I'm, I'm guessing from that point to, say, that point, or from top to bottom, it's about 20 kilometers because I know from about here where I am now I think to about there is 16 over 16 and a half so I would say it may even be 20 24 and about the same across there's eventually going to be a bridge going from here to there um, it is a working progress as you can see um, basically the way Mike's working he's, he's um, once he did the the contour maps or the contour map um, now he's building the towns and he's doing them from left to right starting on the South Island as you can see so we're in this town it hasn't got a name yet he hasn't named the towns yet but um, when this gets released the same as with Desolation Redux anyone's going to be able to use it for whatever they want so you know, if people want to host Excel servers on it, or if they want to host um, Desolation Redux, well, I think it will be with Desolation Redux anyway. Um, but you know, whatever ever else, what other what other mods come up, who knows? You know. Um, but he's also he's very his influences are very much from Stalker and kind of ch that Chernobyl kind of feel um, which is why um, when I set this up um, I set it to uh, to be overcast, raining and thunder because um, the skybox is, is the basic Armour 3 skybox at the moment which looks like Altis which doesn't quite go with the map He's going to do that when he's near completion, and also he's going to do some um, some extra sound triggers. There's some scary sounds now um, that I hear every now and then. I haven't heard it yet, um, but he's going to make um, different sounds for the snow on the mountains. But because he's coming to it from a kind of um, survival sandbox point of view. He's really thinking about how people get to different places to kind of force or make it more likely for there to be player interaction and stuff like that. So you can see it's got a very apocalyptic or post-apocalyptic feel. Um, the way the buildings are crumbling and wrecks everywhere and 
I wouldn't be surprised if uh, in the future he puts a lot of like growth on the buildings and stuff like that, you know, plant growth. But yeah, I mean, I'm impressed because I've only seen screen prints of it before, uh, screenshots. Because um, I was talking to him and Keegan, um, not Keegan, yeah, Keegan, sorry, um, and uh, Big Ben on my Teamspeak um, uh, last week sometime. Or might have been the week before, and he he also he was giving me some pointers because um, since the Armor Two days, I've I've had this burning desire to create a map of my own, and uh, he's been giving me some really good advice and um, pointing me in the right direction to get me started. And um, as I learn, I will uh, do the same as I did with. Um, mission creation where I created my first or my only armor 3 mission because I, uh, I've never created an armor 2 mission my first armor mission was a tutorial that's interesting so I will do the same with um, map design I'll teach you how to set up a P drive how to use the um, Armour 3 tools and some other stuff and uh, basically show you how to create your own original maps so yeah thanks to Mike for that for you know all the advice and help he's given me and also for letting me have, a co have uh, this map to show you guys because it's not available yet it's a fair ways off I think he's thinking three or four months, something like that. Okay. Ooh, okay. I knew there was underground places, but I didn't know I was this close to one. If this was armor two, it'd be raining down here. <laughs> oh, holes in the floor. I don't know if I can actually fall down there. I guess I can there. But I guess here I'm safe. It goes down even further. So there could be like weapons caches down here and stuff. Who knows? Could be a. AI or something? I don't know. Is this where I came down? Yeah, I don't want to go where I came down. I want to get. See what this sounds like in here. Yeah, because I came that way, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go up this ladder. I see, so you can get out this way, but you can't come in this way, you can only can go down the manhole, I assume, because I didn't see... Uh, the question is, how do you get out of the building? Okay. Am I going around the circles? I'm not sure if there's the hole, or the stairs, I mean, so I am going around the circles. Ah, can I climb over that? Can I go out this way? Well, this place is pretty immense. Bench style toilet. Okay. Oh, of course, Armour's trying to drag me backwards.
Yeah, it's definitely very post-apocalyptic. Lots of semi-wrecked buildings falling apart. He's going for a kind of Soviet look as well. Because I know he likes that that style. That, that look. Oh wow, so many enterable buildings too. So it's kind of Chernobyl stroke stalker kind of vibe that he's going for. He's, uh, he loves stalker. Right, now I did put um, a heli around here. And I, oh, actually, I did put a... <coughs> excuse me. I did put a prowler down, so I think I might drive that, because you've got to try the roads on a map, haven't you? And then I'll do a fly around. Later on, I've got to remember where I put the... Uh, it was near a fire station. I think it might be down the other end. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Well, we can go have a look at some of the buildings on the way, can't we? I mean, I think there is a certain amount of um, Taviana influence in there. Which is a good thing, because, you know, for whatever reason, we haven't got Taviana anymore. And I, I honestly don't know why that is. I don't know if Martin Bauer sold... Oh, hello, what's this? I think I might have found another underground entrance. Oh my word, look at this. Wow, this is fantastic. And when you consider that um, that Mike hasn't been, this is his first map. Why does it sound like I've got a roof? All right, let's try out the roads, shall we? Um, we've got a GPS. Of course, I am driving on Armour Three, so lots of understeer. I'll come back here and then I'll take a little flight. But yeah, lovely forests, mountains. A lot of highway. Yeah, ignore the uh, the lighting. That's Armour 3. Kind of default lighting. He'll be changing that as well when it's closer to release. Because basically Bohemia Interactive kind of screwed up the lighting on uh, Armour 3 way back when they did... Um, I think it was uh, 1.62 update. So it's too dark at night and it's too light during the day. And that's why all the Armour 2, all the Armour 2 map ports started to look really awful. I think Cup are trying to work on it. try and fix it. But yeah, fortunately Bohemian Interactive. Like they so often do, made a helix of it. Okay, let's go for a flight, shall we? I'll do this in first person so it's not too loud. 
Okay, it didn't sound like it had a roof on there. See, I'm not using Armour Armor 3 vanilla sounds, I'm using um, Enhanced Soundscape and uh, JSRS4 Apex because Armour 3 vanilla thunder sounds ridiculous, it doesn't sound like thunder at all. Got a little fly around the town first. by the bus. So we've got an island over there as well which hasn't been worked on yet. So over there. So you can see where the road goes up, it's got that weird black look. That's Bohemia Interactive's fault. It's screwed up all the shaders and the lighting. And they've never fixed it. I doubt if they will. down there. Oh, what's that? Have I found another underground place? Possibly. Oh tractor just kind of reappeared and disappeared and that's down to Bohemian Interactive too they changed how textures um, render in you'll notice if you're running through along grass renders in as you go through it instead of before you go through it so you can see it disappearing and reappearing I'm kind of interested to see what this building is. I've never seen this building before. Well, I have to check. It looks better with bad weather, don't you? Oh, there's no steerable parachutes in here. Uh, where'd my butt? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, GPS.
really nice. So not only a very talented map designer, but also um, a bit of a town planner as well. That was a hind hanging off that building. That I remember seeing that in the screenshots. Because we all asked if he was flying around in a helicopter on the map when he took the screenshot. Because of the angle we saw it from, it looked like it was flying past the building. Fabulous. I can't wait to play Desolation Redux on here. It's going to be awesomely awesome. There is going to be a bridge between the South and the North Island, and I'm guessing to the North and the North Island as well. I wonder if there's anything under there, or he just hadn't. Maybe he's going to put a supermarket in or something. I don't have to tell you guys that this map's got potential, do I? You can see it for yourself. There's that sound. It's kind of like a... haunted kind of... like someone blowing across a milk bottle. I won't notice it so much because i got the thunder on, but I wanted thunder. I really wanted thunder because it just goes so well with this. Industrial areas. Oh! Hello. If I find another little... I'm not... S no. Okay. 
<laughs> if I find another s secret. I reckon there's going to be a lot of them, you know. So. Hope you've enjoyed this tour around this fantastic looking early stage development map. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you again to... Uh, no, can you like that? Um, I'd like to say another big thank you to, to Mike for um, sending me the file. files so I can have a look at it and show you guys and uh, also thanks for his uh, you know, spending time and showing me the ropes I, I really appreciate it well this is fantastic I haven't I got to have a look at oh this is great that's all kind of mossy and can't wait to get designing myself but I don't think I'm going to be doing anything like this for some time so <coughs> thanks a lot for watching everyone please comment, rate, subscribe show some love to Mike and I'll see you all guys really soon Bye for now.